Right, so this film here is for Robert, and I'm going to leave his last name because it is incredibly tricky to pronounce, especially in the correct in the correct way. Um, so I'll let you guys decide on how how you pronounce it, um, and I'll let you fill in that gap. Um, but this video wouldn't be possible without the, without the TPN community um, and their submissions on a memory of Robert. Um, and personally, I don't have really a memory of Robert because the first time I met him was at the conference. Um, but what I can say, it was a great honour, a great pleasure, um, and just a great atmosphere to meet, to meet Robert um, and to learn about him um, and to even have his books, um, which I have here at home. Um, it's just, it's really nice to have that that with me and that memory of him from the conference. Uh, we are here with Dr. Rob Robert Levin. Levin? It's fine. Is it okay? <laughs> <laughs> Would you like it to tell me the real version? Uh, well, I, I, at, uh, at Ellis Island, they decided it was Levine. Levine? Oh, it's quite <laughs> sexy, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Why is it that we're always surprised when someone we know dies? Bob gently reminded us that death is inevitable. It would have been his 74th birthday in just a few weeks' time. But he would argue that it's not the length of time that counts. It's how we receive, transmit and exchange positive energy. Hi, my name is Tiana Luce and I was the main organizer of the 4th International Conference on Time Perspective. And we had the great honor and pleasure of inviting Robert Levine, Bob, to join us as a keynote for this event. So Owen has asked us to share some fond memories of this great man. I was walking through the park here in Montevideo where I now live in Uruguay and um, I was thinking about Bob and his passing, and um, I was thinking about how he thought about his own death as well. You know, he was someone who actually thought about his death before he died. Uh, what would last of him as a memory? I was thinking about that as well. Thinking, you know, people don't just disappear like that, you know? Above and beyond, uh, you know, breathing Carl Sagan, uh, you know, maybe, where is Bob? Where is Bob? I look around my environment. And that that very moment, I walked by a fountain. And this fountain, it was filled with bubbles. There's not something you see every day. And I'm like, oh, there it is. There's Bob. He's in the bubbles. And it goes well with his personality, too. Very, very bubbly kind of guy. I am the name of a Powerpuff Girl, and his work was revolutionary. So, um, now I know that when I see Bubbles, I am thinking about Bob. So, above and beyond his work, uh, he lives on in memory. It would have been wonderful to get to spend more time with him, but I am grateful for the time that we did get to spend, and to have had the honor but even more importantly, pleasure of meeting this man. The first time I met Bob Levine was actually at our conference in Nantes in France in 2018. And he was very happy that I had uh, read his book about the self, The Stranger in the Mirror. and. Uh, that was one of the most interesting topics that Bob had covered and in my opinion one of the greatest contributions in social psychology in terms of what what he gave to me he was extremely kind and extremely knowledgeable and what is very sad what has saddened me the most is that the shocking news about his uh, demise came to me right before uh, my colleague and I were in, in California and we were there to meet him along with uh, some other researchers and we had planned to making um, a common research with Bob Levine and so it struck me quite hard 
but on the other hand I will um, I will be continuing to teach his theories and continuing to remember him and he will live on within the field of social psychology within the field of time perception and overall in the field of learning about anthropology and the anthropology of kindness. So, thanks Bob. Your compelling and generous evidence makes our lives well worth experiencing, practicing and sharing. It's time that fills the gap between the cradle and the grave. But it's your pace that matters more than time's paths, past, present, future. And while death awaits us all, our energy never dies. Bob's energy, thankfully, remains very much alive.